too much. He didn't fight his fight. You feel like he was already scared going into the fight? Like he was already defeated? I don't know if he was scared or not, but you know, Canelo did a tremendous job in there. He did what he had to do. Ray, what do you think about the bout? The much anticipated bout between Heymanjia and Canelo Alvarez has come to an end finished. That a T-Mobile arena in Las Vegas was humming with excitement as these two Mexican boxing legends squared off. The current champion, Canelo, sought to retain his belt in a fight against the hard-hitting Mangia, Mongolia. The spectators was kept on the edge of their seats by the amazing skills and tenacity demonstrated by both competitors. However, one thing is certain, this was a night of boxing that will never be forgotten. Let's now observe some responses from around the globe globe. Show tonight that he's back and he means it, he's back with a purpose. Um, a lot of people wrote him off, but he's not ready to be written off yet, you know? And it's like in boxing, they always want to say a loss or two and you throw boxes out to the pasture, but that's not how it goes. If a boxer still got it, he should be still allowed to compete. And Canelo showed that he's still one of the elite fighters in the 168 division. In your opinion, who's next for him? I don't know. I mean, he can fight the brother next. He can fight uh, Benavides next. He can fight a lot of people next. Uh, he can fight the winner of the um, uh, uh, Boo Boo and uh, Benavides fight because that could be a good fight too. So we'll see. Where you what At this point let's now examine the predictions made by boxing luminaries and EXP regarding this fight, as well as who called the outcome correctly and who didn't for this incredible bout related. A lot of energy, the youth, um, you know, the old horse, the, the young thor thoroughbred. It, it, can be, it, can be a, it can be a long night for Canelo if, if Jaime is disciplined 100% with his game plan. Now you got a guy as smart as Canelo who can land that boom, who understands how to set up these, these young guys, you know, that's what it is. But see, it's funny that he's fight. it's funny that, it's not funny, he's fighting Mugia because he was forced to, in my opinion. This is my opinion, I might be wrong. He was forced to fight Mugia. He didn't want to do no business with no damn Golden Boy, but he was forced to do it because of the money. You know, the big, the big thing going on with Amazon Prime, all of that, like, they got Amazon Prime because of Canelo, you know? We need you to fight, and we need you to fight somebody because we need to hit it out the park. He's not a, He's not smaller, he's uh, the same size, he's bigger, he filled into the 168 pound weight, and probably could even go to 175. Um, so I think that it, it could it could pose uh, like a little bit of threat uh, for, for Canelo. Um, both guys is evenly matched. Um, it's about the same age. One thing I know is a little older, but, um, but yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a great fight. And I think that um, you know McGill does have a, a great chance of, of winning. He could use uh, the Paval style, where Paval was throwing a lot of punches, a lot of kept a lot of punches in his face. Uh, McGill can do that, and maybe that might give um, Canelo some problems. Would it shock you if Munguia won? It would probably shock me a little bit yeah. <laughs> that McGinn won because I'm used to seeing McGee at 160 or 54, not really at 68. And uh, I mean, although Canelo came from 54 too as well, uh, it seemed like Canelo has grown into the weight pretty fast with the light heavyweight fought. So um, it would shock me a little bit, but I'm not sure. I mean, like I said, McGee had time to, to fill into the weight and get bigger. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, Ray Leonard, Etc. Etc. You know, seeing Mungia, he feels that his volume and his youth is really going to make a difference in the fight. And he told me like, "Hey, I'm bigger than Canelo. I have more volume than Canelo. My conditioning is better than Canelo. I think I can get him there." Well, I mean, he's supposed to say that, I, I, and, and I understand he he has a tremendous amount of confidence. And justifiably so. He has a Hall of Fame trainer working with him. But I promise you, Canelo will break his spirit. Canelo is going to break his will. Wow. That shit, that shit sound good mm -hmm. until, you st until you start getting touched. When, when Canelo start touching him to the body and, and taking the air out of him and be able to hit him with clean shots, 
Because the one thing that one thing we can't get we can't get lost in this thing is that as far as defense is concerned, this kid is not the second coming of Floyd Mayweather. He can be touched at any time, at any time, and, and that's again that's right up uh, Canelo's wheelhouse. And there's no disrespect; I'm just calling it as I see it. Canelo's a tremendous fighter with an exceptional IQ, exceptional IQ. However, boxing icon Floyd Mayweather has made a daring prediction that will only heat up the already intense matchup. Mayweather, known for his perfect record and defensive skill, Mayweather has publicly expressed his opinion that Canelo may be in for an upset on fight night. Night. This Mayweather has previously commented on Canelo Canelo's style style. The two have a pass together. In their 2013 bout, Mayweather prevailed, leaving the audience impressed. Considering since then, Mayweather has sometimes criticized Canelo's strategy, sometimes focusing on a more defensive approach. Tactic. Without a doubt, Canelo is a fantastic fighter. That. In a recent interview, Mayweather stated that while he possesses great strength and heart, there is a thin line separating aggression and irresponsibility. Carelessness. In recent battles, I have saw him take some needless shots against a youthful, inexperienced, and eager fighter named Manga, which could prove to be his downfall. The boxing community has been rocked by Mayweather's remarks. Boxing industry. Fans in the community are split, with some agreeing with Mayweather's evaluation and citing Canelo's recent propensity to fight opponents rather to use his entire technical arsenal other some think Canelo will defeat Manga because of his experience and his boxing. AQ. The sheer aggression and power of Manga. Hostility. Canelo Canelo has been working with Hector Garcia, the most well-known, recognized, and successful boxing trainer. Garcia. He has taken stronger blows than Manja. Mongolia. It's possible that Mayweather is losing sight of what it takes to win champion. You must possess that cannibalistic urge, killing instinct, and Canelo possesses it abundantly, in full measure. The Mongol Solfao Mayweather has received a lot of attention and respect. Manjia has remained relatively silent amid the storm of predictions. However, his trainer, Eric Morales, who was once a world champion, did take a subtle jab at Mayweather, pointing out that sometimes retired fighters forget what it's like to be in the trenches. Trenches. According to Morales, Ja is eager to prove himself, hungry, and youthful dot by himself. Helfa, he respects Canelo. Canelo, he has no fear of anyone. That the conflicting viewpoints draw attention to the mystery behind this fight fight. Canelo, the world-class fighter, needs to disprove those who doubt him, especially in light of Mayweather's remarks. On the other side, Mangaya has a fantastic chance to overthrow a legend and establish himself as both the next great thing in boxing and the legendary in the sport. Oscar de la Hoya made a prediction regarding this matchup. Due to the unexpected remarks made by the great fighter and former promoter of Oscar de la Hoya, tensions have escalated to unprecedented levels. The once loyal backer de la Hoya has openly questioned Canelo's mental state, which adds even more drama to the already heated bout. For many years, Canelo has been the unchallenged super middleweight champion in the boxing world. De La Hoya thinks Canelo might be ignoring the danger Munji finds unacceptable though. De La Hoya's remarks are all the more powerful because of the personal touch that their broken relationship gives them. Canelo has made amazing progress. In a previous interview, De La Hoya claimed to be a true champion, but things have changed recently. I observe a fighter who appears to be a little naive about his unbeatable status. De La Hoya went into further detail about his worries, citing Canelo's most recent bouts. He's become less defensive than he once was and has accepted needless punishment. He seems to be certain that he can pass right past everyone. Shockwaves have been felt throughout the boxing community. It leaves fans to ponder if De La Hoya has a point. Because of his conceit, Canelo is now susceptible to being overcome by a hungry, youthful opponent like Manja. Canelo's camp has not wavered in their convictions. De Rosso, the veteran trainer of Canelo, dismissed De La Hoya's comments as unimportant. Oscar and Canelo haven't worked out together. Rosso claimed he was unaware of the amount of work that had been done. Canelo is laser-focused and prepared to dispel his skeptics once more. Manga, though he hasn't said anything in response to De La Hoya's remarks, the undefeated challenger exudes confidence. I honor Canelo's accomplishments, but respect doesn't win arguments, Manga remarked. 
I'm entering this battle with the will and abilities to prevail. Canelo is making a mistake if he thinks I'm less than he is. De La Hoya's remarks highlight important queries. Is Canelo really too self-assured? The now and potentially the future. What better script? What better script can you write in boxing where you have the now? Defending now against a young lion that want that position, want that respect, want that crown. Want to be king of the jungle. Because to me, Canelo is that in boxing right now. With a lot of people on his heels from other weight classes, but right now, let's keep it 100. Bigger, but he don't got the height, he don't got the reach, he don't got the... I mean, he got a good boxing IQ but he don't have that crazy IQ that Terrence has. How do you think Canelo's fight with Mugia's going to be? Uh, Canelo goes soccer. What's going to be? Canelo goes soccer. I mean, we'll see. I think Canelo uh, probably stops him, knocks him out. Canelo Alvarez stated uh, that he would need 150 million to 200 million to walk the road that you've already walked versus Benavidez. What do you think about his demands? I mean, I don't think much of it. You know, that's, uh, that's what I'm going to figure out. So, uh, I'm interested on the big fights ahead of me. I think how many... His judgment was impaired by his unwavering quest for greatness. Is Munkia able to take advantage of these apparent flaws and pull off a significant upset? The boxing community is split. While some regard De La Hoya's claims as desperate attempts to stir controversy, others think she may be onto something. In any case, Canelo is under pressure to demonstrate that his mental health is unaffected by the attention he is receiving. Who answered correctly? Post a remark in the space provided below. The epic has been covered in dust. Canelo Alvarez and Hay Manja's argument, the recollection of the electrifying atmosphere at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, is still vivid, and the fight's after effects left the boxing world abuzz with rumors. It's a closely kept secret whether Manja created a seismic upset or whether Canelo continued his reign. But one thing is certain, the outcome definitely put Canelo's career on a new path. The next course he decides to take is now the center of attention. In the aftermath, the embers of unresolved business continue to flare. Le Joe Saunders Canelo, who won the South in 2021, is still a strong proponent of a rematch. There were unanswered questions following the contentious stoppage resulting from a damaged eye socket, and a second meeting would provide conclusive resolution. But Canelo's camp hasn't spoken anything about Saunders in relation to the topic. In a recent interview, Canelo remarked, I'm focused on the future right now, but I'm a tough competitor, and our first fight was a war. The future has a lot of interesting possibilities, one of which may be the much-anticipated confrontation with David Benavides El Bandera. There is no denying that Roe has become a formidable force in the super middleweight class, and fans are eager to see him win. Still, the promotion barrier that was there before remains. Because Canelo and Benavides are signed to different promoters, the talks are a delicate dance. This clash is one that the fans demand. Benavides proclaimed with enthusiasm, we're both fighters, young and hungry. There would be a ring explosion. Now, the initiative is with you. Canelo, who was renowned for accepting the best, hasn't ruled out the option entirely. Ben Aids is a skilled combatant. Although Canelo admitted it, there are alternative choices. We'll see what the terrain looks like following some deliberations with my group. In the super middleweight class, there are plenty of excellent fighters to choose from. A prospective matchup between Canelo and Jamal Chero, the undisputed middleweight champion of the WBA and WBC, would be a clash of titans. Chero just upgraded to super middleweight. Demetrius Andrade and Tyson Bouts also feature the undefeated WBO middleweight champion and Urbv, the unified light heavyweight champion who has indicated interest in moving down to super middleweight. The super middleweight division features a ton of thrilling bouts. These are all elite athletes, according to Canelo, each bringing unique challenges and styles to the table. I'm constantly trying to improve so that I can give the fans the best battles. For some fans, the appeal of light heavyweight is still irresistible. Raising his weight class would put Canelo up against opponents such as Dimitri Bivol, the man who gave him his sole loss in the professional ring, or Arur Bedev. Even if there may be a big size and power difference, 
Canelo's unwavering quest for greatness may tempt him to accept this difficult challenge. I have definitely given light heavyweight some thought. Canelo said, I'm focused on the super middleweight division right now, but it would be a new chapter in my career, a chance to test myself against even bigger and stronger fighters. I still have a lot I want to get done here. Legendary boxer De La Hoya has made waves lately by raising the possibility of a comeback. De La Hoya maintains he's serious about going back into the ring, despite the fact that many laughed at the concept. I've been working hard, and I think I still have much to prove, De La Hoya said in a recent interview. A battle between the generations in the form of a bout with Canelo would be enormous. I'm proud about to give the opportunity to Jaime Munguia, the first two Mexican fighting the, the, the four belts. So I feel proud about it. Yeah, I think the the style the styles make fights. That's what I think, and I think these two styles is gonna be a, a really good fight because you know he coming uh, with that mentality to to give everything to win, and, and I'm the same. No, I think it's gonna be a really good fight because uh, uh, the styles. Oh, could we expect a war? Is that what you're expecting? Yeah, I always love to be involved in a war. That's not my fans. That's my critics. So that's a different. And they always have something to say about me. When it's Golovkin, when it's Lara, when it's Cotto, when it's now it's Benavides. And if you see me, my resume, I fought with everybody. So I don't have anything to say to that people because they never gonna understand that because they see but they don't want to understand mm -hmm. so i'm happy with our, what i'm doing and, and i'm gonna still doing you you also said benavidez brings nothing to the table outside of 25 extra pounds on fight night david said he's open to a rehydra rehydration clause and then what is that and then what you're gonna talk about that 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 clause and they he, when i beat him they're gonna say oh they put me that cloud so nothing to nothing to do with that fight Seem, seems like a reaction pause would put you in a lose-lose situation too yeah mm -hmm. it's a lose-lose situation because you know they're gonna after the fight they're gonna talk ah because of this but there also doesn't appear to be anyone at 168 pounds outside of Benavides that could bring you the money you're looking for no, oh, but because I don't, you know, I fought with any 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 fighter and I win my 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 good money. So, and 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 I can do whatever I want in in uh, this time. I deserve it because I I I did everything in my career and I I deserve being in, in this position and I I'm gonna do whatever I want. I would say that's a pretty good number to say he's got left i mean what's out there for him mungia maybe belanga maybe benavidez maybe a bivol rematch what, what else you know i don't know i mean so i think yeah again i've never spoken to him about time he has left but i would, I would say two years is a fair assumption and you know physically you never know what's taking its toll on someone i think the mungia fight's a really good fight like, I think if Mungia could be physical in that fight, who knows what happens if he gets to eight, nine, ten rounds. But I think the best style for Saul right now is someone that comes forward. You know, someone that is a little bit flat-footed and comes to fight. And I think Mungia will give him that. The boxing community feels differently about this possible fight. Some see it as a potentially exciting spectacle, while others think it would be a disrespectful display of a faded star trying to damage Canelo's legacy. The opportunity to see the changing of the guard in response to a question concerning the likelihood, Canelo maintained his class toward Oscar. Canelo claimed to have achieved amazing feats in the ring, but at this point, I'm concentrating on my own career. I'm not interested in fighting for show. My goal is to take on the world's top active fighters. As for Canelo, who is 33 years old, rumors about his possible retirement persist despite his almost two-decade career and established history. I certainly consider the rumors that he may hang up his mitts and begin to pursue track retirement. Canelo acknowledged that boxing is a physically taxing sport, but he still felt driven and passionate to participate. 
I'll keep battling as long as I'm in good health and have motivation. Even though it is unknown, the result of the manga fight might influence his choice. A convincing victory can encourage him to keep striving for excellence, while a difficult match or an unexpected defeat might make him reconsider his future in the ring. Canelo's future path ultimately hinges on a number of variables, such as the unreported bout, his physical condition, and his individual goals. But one thing is for sure, Canelo Alvarez doesn't back down from a